Hey everyone and welcome back to Nims Toots. Today we're going to be looking at a 1.11 cobblestone farm. The cool thing about this farm is it knows when your pickaxe breaks. Well, it knows when you take too long to destroy the first block. And then if you're taking too long, then it thinks that your pickaxe is broken and it gives you a new one. So instead of just sitting there spamming pickaxe after pickaxe after pickaxe at you, it goes, oh, he's taking too long, his pickaxe must be broken, here have a new one. It's also pretty great because when you're ready to AFK some cobble, you just walk up to the farm, it automatically gives you a pickaxe, you start holding left click and you're good to go, that's all you've got to do. Whenever you're done using the AFK cobblestone farm, you just walk away, that's it, it shuts itself off, there's nothing more that needs to be done. Maybe you put your pickaxe back into the pickaxe chest, but that's it, nothing else. Cool, so now you understand how awesome this thing is. Let's take a look at the resources it takes to build it. Pretty resource light, everything that you need will be in this chest with the exception of some solid blocks. It doesn't really matter what you use. I just have some polished andesite. Just grab a couple of stacks of solid blocks and you'll be good to go. I'm going to start this build with the dropper already placed facing up immediately under where I want my player to AFK. Then into the right of that dropper, I'm gonna have a hopper. Then I'll destroy these two blocks, place a solid block with a torch there. Then I'm going to go two solid blocks up here and here, spin around to the back of this, place a torch there, a redstone torch, a solid block there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace some of these solid blocks. Then three pieces of redstone like this feeding into the back of this torch here. Great. Then we're going to come down place solid block and redstone there. Then we're going to knock out these six blocks, well 12, because I'm going to change them into solid blocks here, so it's a little bit easier to see. Then I'm going to go solid block here, I need a comparator here, redstone here, here, and here. Then a comparator here, feeding into the back of that block, which has the redstone right there. Then I need to, I'm going to destroy these two blocks, solid block, a repeater on four ticks. It's really important that it's on four ticks. Destroy out a couple more blocks here. And two more pieces of redstone dust. By the end of this, you should look something, well, wait, let's take one more. Let's put some tripwire hooks here, string in the middle, and then a gray carpet on top of that dropper just to jazz it up, make it look nice. And now, this is what you should look like. Now we're going to place down our chest. The one on the left is where your cobblestone's going to go. The one on the right is where your pickaxes will go. Then, once we've got those two down, into the one on the left, I want you to place a hopper feeding into it with a stone pressure plate or any pressure plate on top of it. Then into the back of that hopper, one, two, three, four more hoppers into the back of it. And then we're going to come back here. And these need to be non-flammable solid blocks. Um, well, not necessarily solid blocks, but just non-flammable blocks because there's going to be lava here. So we've got, we're just creating uh, chambers for all of our water and lava to sit inside of now. This is pretty easy. Oop. And I'm doing it out of glass so that way everybody can see what I'm doing. Uh, but you can, again, n use any non-flammable block. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have one, two, three, four pieces of cobblestone already placed down. That's just going to make it a little bit easier whenever we go to add our water and lava later. I need an observer facing up, then into the side of that observer. And it's really important oop, that these observers are facing this correct direction. So you should have the first observer facing up and then all the other observers facing towards the back of the farm. Then we need one more observer facing down and see how that little eye is facing down there and then that needs to go into a solid block so that way when this solid block gets powered it actually powers that redstone there from this point you're good to add your water i like to add two things two buckets of water there and there and two buckets of lava there and there then give it a second it all flows through. Now you can see if we were to walk up, destroy it, awesome, and make it turns back into cobblestone. I'm going to do one more thing, actually. I am going to come over here. I'm going to grab some item frames, and I'm just going to go ahead and label these. So in this one, you're going to put your pickaxes, and in this one is where all the cobble's going to go. That's it. Super easy build, great 1.11 cobblestone farm. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you use this in your world, if you if you like the video, well, then leave a like on the video. That's pretty obvious. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. This has been Nims Toots, and hopefully it didn't stink.